Hi, my name is Kate and I'm working on the cable for the space elevator. Yes, this idea is real. This picture is actually taken from the NASA website of what NASA thinks this elevator could look like. The elevator would run from the equator into space and the International Space Station would dock to the top to get the things it needs. The cable wouldn't need to be all that big. A cable the size of tooth floss can hold up a grand piano or a car. The cable is made from this stuff, carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are made from carbon, shaped like a straw and one sixty thousandth the diameter of a human hair. Due to their unique structure, they have amazing properties. They are smaller, better, faster and stronger. In fact, they are 100 times the strength of steel. But they have one big problem. They repel one another. That means that in a group, the properties of the group are less than the properties of one nanotube by itself. To fix this repulsion, I create an attraction in the form of bonding. I fire electrons at the nanotubes and this creates damage on their surface. One of the interesting things about nanotubes is that they mend themselves. And one of the ways they mend themselves is to form bonding between nanotubes, just like this one here. But just like if we have a break in our skin, when the nanotubes mend themselves, they don't mend perfectly. It leaves a scar. So I'm trying to maximize bonding and minimize scarring. And I do this by changing the speed of the electrons and the temperature of the nanotubes. What I've found is that the faster the speed of the electrons, the more bonds are created, but also the most scarring. So I use high temperatures between 5 and 800 degrees Celsius to help mend that scarring. The best combination I can find is this one here. High speed electrons and high temperature nanotubes. If I can get this to work, it means not only the cable for the space elevator, but a battery for a lightsaber, artificial muscles and next generation computing. In the famous words of an astronaut, this is one small bond for nanotubes and one giant leap for mankind. Thank you. Thank you.